Well, all righty, scavengers, we got a real juicy, squirty, sweet surprise for y'all today. A while back, we found in that one dumpster all those packages full of these uh, these little connectors. They look just like this. They're all in packs of five. Uh, I looked them up. They are coax, I believe a type F connector, it's like a female by female. They are brass. And... Uh, but what we got to do here is every single one of them have a little plastic piece on it that, um, you know, we have to get off to clean this sucker up. So what we're going to do here, we're going to have a little assembly line set up uh, where we're just going to basically go through, empty all the packages into a container. And then from there, we're going to take these guys and then uh, being that I can't really get a socket on there. Uh, I found out that put it on the uh, angle grinder, just kind of just trimming it down there a little bit. That plastic piece pops right off, makes for a quick job. So what we're going to do is start off, just empty all these out, and then we're going to go from there, get all the plastic pieces off. And then from there, we may go one step further to take the little nuts off, because those are brass, and uh, clean them up. I don't know. We'll just see how long this takes. But you guys are going to be with me for the entire duration of taking all this ish apart so uh let's do it <laughs> Alrighty, scavengers, we're down to the second leg, probably the final leg of our journey here. Uh, posted a short little video on what to do with these, how to clean these up. A lot of people said to uh, uh, try to scrap them as is, which uh, those of you that saw the, the short little video, can't do it, yard won't take it. Uh, another big, large group of people saying to use the snips, which the snips work okay, uh, but the one of the 
bigger ideas that seemed to, in my mind, to be like the most effective was a little setup right here that we put together. Uh, we made a short little video of how we put it together. Something nice and easy. Uh, a couple of people had uh, mentioned maybe putting a couple more on either side so I can bang out, you know, three at a time. Uh, I decided not to go that route because I figured that may be a little bit more counterproductive. Um, you know, when you put these guys in there, uh, you know, you bang on it. Uh, it may pop the other ones out and, you know, I just be working more. So we're just going to stick with the one set up here for now. Uh, and then we're going to roll with that. I mean, we've already got this much invested into it. So this is, this is, this is what we're going to, we're going to, we're going to see this thing through. That's what we're going to do. Uh, all the plastic over here, I, a couple of people I heard, you know, screaming about me recycling it. This is all plastic. So all this plastic in here, there's the bags. We're going to get all this plastic in here. When I said the trash can, it's a trash can. Yes, it's not going to the trash though. We are going to recycle this. There's a recycle place right down the street. So we got our little setup over here. Uh, we're going to just start banging away, have a good time doing it. The weather's kind of crap out here. It's supposed to rain, golly, for the next five or six days. So i uh, got plenty of time to sit out here, bang on this stuff, get some scrap going. And um, I'm really curious to see how much we got here. As far as taking the jam nets off, I don't think I'm going to waste my time with that because, I mean, the amount of time that I've already spent taking these out of the bags and getting all these plastic pieces off, you know, we're just going to, just going to, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yeah, so our little setup here. It's nice and simple pipe nipple pipe flange board got a hole in the bottom you just put your piece in there uh, bang on it uh, plastic comes out goes in the trash can and the uh, brass piece drops right in there so that being said <sighs> Jesus let's do it
Upgraded to a much bigger bucket. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. <laughs> but that's as far as I'm gonna break it down. I am not gonna spend the time to take all these little nuts off. It is what it is. I've already spent hours upon hours working on this. Uh, all the little plastic fittings here. I can see why they wanted me to take it off. This is easily 30, 30 to maybe even 40 pounds right here. Just these plastic pieces. So that's definitely makes sense why they wanted those taken off but we got it all cleaned up here now the fun part we're gonna shoot up there to the scrapyard before they close and see what we got here Whew. Alrighty, y'all here's how we did the scrapyard on this coaxial project brass dirty 128 pounds I was off a little bit I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit heavier but being that all these plastic fittings over here and then the weight at which they are, you know, makes sense while I was off a little bit. 90 cents a pound, $115.20. Yeah, that's not quite as good as I was hoping it to be. But am I glad it's over? Yes. Was it worth it? Eh, would I do it again? Hell no. Although, you know, it still came out to about, you know, 15, 20 bucks an hour, somewhere in there. So, I mean, still not that bad, <laughs> but... My butt is like sore, my back hurts. Just, man, I'm just glad it's over. I'm glad it's over. And uh, glad you guys were here with me to make it uh, make it happen. I couldn't have done it without y'all. Oh. Yeah, total bum, but it is what it is. We got it out of here, make room for the next project. Next stuff to work on, get it out of here, get it out of here. But anyways, alrighty guys, well, that's gonna do it on this supersized taking stuff apart episode with Mike the Scavenger. As always, it was a total pleasure. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with your friends, Instagram, got one, uh, t-shirts and stuff, go get y'all stuff, Teespring down below. Alrighty, but uh, next video coming up should be a dumpster driving video, so y'all stay tuned. What we got here, y'all?